Hello, Nomads Cult Brush Settings Video 2. It's about the alpha image. And I hope this is the last time I record this video because it's a very complex topic. So I have no script. I, yeah, I try to tell you everything I know so far. So here, this is a Nomads Cult web demo and this is a blank app so here where to find your alpha settings or alpha image so at the moment here the stamp brush is active and here in the top menu you see here your brush settings and there are sub menus here at the top and the second one is the alpha so here you see the alpha image and you can press on it here, press on the preview. And this is what you get when you start Norm Nomad Sculpt. So the default setting is always such a white, um, yeah, white canvas. So when you change your brush here, uh, for example, uh, the clay brush, this is uh, one of these three images. So you find also the alpha on the side menu here. Um, this small preview, when you press on it here, you can change also the alpha image. So only three images and everything works fine with Nomad Sculpt. So you don't need more, but yeah, you have a lot of uh, more fun when you use alphas. So, okay. Um, the next important thing is here at the bottom is a wireframe here, watch your mesh. So when you sculpt on a mesh with uh, such a topology and um, I try to make an example here, when you use here the stamp brush at the moment and you use this alpha, then here stamp on your mesh and you get something like this. You can see every, uh, nothing or this is uh, yeah not a clean structure so you have to increase your poly count and um, so this mesh is about um, 1.5 million vertices and yeah here you see details on your mesh so now when i use um, this alpha here you can see clear um, that it's the same like the image here. So watch your mesh. Okay. So the next important thing is here you see the image and there's a scaling slider. So when you use the scaling slider you see here a red ring and the red ring is your brush radius. So everything inside the, the brush radius is the active alpha here. So when I use um, this alpha um, like this, in, inside the red ring is now a square and um, yeah, something like this. And when you use it here on the, on the object, you get this. So, and when you scale it, you uh, get this, so only three. So watch your scaling and what's inside the red, the red area. So here you can see it um, better. So at the moment, inside the red ring is a, a white square. So when you brush here, you get this um, yeah, square and when the scaling is like this 
only white is in the ring and then you get uh, something like this. So it's only a circle. Okay. So the next important thing is, I think when you use the right scaling and so on, and we use a different um, brush tool, let's use the, the brush and check the alpha and adjust the scaling. So now we get a square and to see here um, what the square does, now we, we get something like this here. And when we change the stroke spacing more about um, yeah, 150%, then you get a lot of tiny squares like this. So when you change now your alpha to something like this, then only white is in the ring here, then you get only small dots, so like this. Okay, so I think we need more examples. Um, I changed to my Nomad Sculpt and here when I, yeah, I, the best brush is at the moment the stamp tool here. I changed only the icon for the stamp tool. It's the default stamp brush. So here let's open the the alpha settings here and when I open my library here there are hundreds of alpha images here um, for everything you find something so I can choose a number here and sorry the symmetry is active at the side menu so here I can stamp the number nine on the object. So when you watch these images, you see the images are black and white and grayscale. And yeah, these are the informations for the height of the uh, deformation. Um, when you use such a um, black and white image here, you you get exactly um, yeah, the same height. Everything is, was white is uh, sculpted and black is flat. So when you use a grayscale image, for example, um, this snail here, you get something like this and always remember it's affected by the intensity slider here on the side menu so when you use a higher intensity you get a, a higher offset of your image okay so here you see in this collection, I created um, subfolders. So here, um, forms or lines, and yeah, a lot of different subfolders. You find here in the Nomad Sculpt menu a folder called Alphas here. So when you press on this folder, you can create here uh, subfolders like you want to collect your different pictures <coughs> and yeah yeah it's a little bit uh, like organizing your images so <coughs> when you close nomad sculpt the app and restart it the subfolders appear here in this menu so this is a, a small um, 
few of these alphas and here is an option here uh, to expand this menu here for the whole screen so when you press on it you see it a little bit larger so yeah okay this is uh, the thing you can uh, organize your images so the next thing is uh, when you sorry i make it a little bit smaller again so here you see in the this menu here is an import option so here are your three default images and when you press here on import um, a menu opens here so you can import from photos files um, okay let's import a photo and here's a dragon image so remember the scaling everything inside the red ring and brush it on your object okay the next thing is here when you import an image you can import every picture but not every picture is a real alpha image but when i import now this mushroom image Nomadsculpt creates here a grayscale image. It's an automatic function. So you don't have to change as, as something, um, only import a, a picture and it's okay. So remember the scaling inside the red ring. And here in this uh, alpha stamp menu, here's an invert pixels option. So when you use it like this here, um, it creates such a thing here. Um, yeah, the mushroom is inside and you have to invert the pixels to get a, a negative image. And when you brush now, you get a nice mushroom here for this. Okay. And when you work with um, such color images um, it's also possible here in the paint settings for the brush to activate the paint and you can use the same image as a texture for your alpha and always use a, a pure white so when you use a, uh, this um, image here with a red color, um, it looks like this. And when you use pure white, it works like this. So in this case, we have to increase the uh, paint intensity. And when you brush now, you get something like this. So here I told you to use layers so you can control with this three dot submenu the offset of your brush stroke and also the color and so on so the nice thing is when you use here a layer you can use the delete layer brush and um, yeah, delete here this um, thing here out of the yeah object here and use it like this so i create a new layer so here i don't remember um, so here are a few examples here uh, with the alphas and the textures here the stones or here dragon scales so you can um, brush here quick such scales and in, in combination with the offset you can um, change the offset 
or you can adjust the color a little bit or do what you want. So these are stamp brushes and it's also possible yeah, to do something like such veins in combination here with a here, for example, I brush the dragon um, scales here and you can yeah, sculpt the veins on it. Or <coughs> you, this is um, here um, a stroke brush with an alpha like this. So, and it's used here in the st stroke mode. So when I use it, on the object, you can create such uh, something like four. Or here's the other four brush, creates a stylized four. Um, yeah, very quick. So. Here's another example, such a tree bark or yeah. And also interesting is here you can create um, such uh, things like a braid with a with a right alpha. You need here such a alpha like this here and um, the correct stroke spacing, like in this case 75%. So, and then this brush creates such things. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much to tell. So the next thing is, I think, where, where you can find these uh, alphas here. Here, there's a Facebook um, group uh, procreate and nomad sculpt resources here you find uh, in the media section a lot of um, alphas here hundreds of uh, alpha images and um, yeah and uh, interesting is uh, such a thing like hard surface alphas um, you can download here the images for free so when you use such things here, you use the stamp brush. So let's search for such alphas. Yeah, too much of them. Um, yeah, let's use something like this. So <laughs> the texture is active. So or deleted. So let's use um, other color. So when you stamp here, you get such objects or uh, other example something like this okay so here this is a nomad um, the pro not the procreate <laughs> this is the facebook group and it's also possible to uh, use the uh, internet, um, for example, seed brush alphas. So when you use a picture search, you get such images, texture images, something like this. Yeah. This is another topic. So have fun with sculpting. And see you. Ciao.